Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at two hybrid cleaning products. Both of them with an integrated vacuum. The Broom, which is a broom with an integrated vacuum. And we have the Shark Vac Mop, which is a mop with an integrated vacuum. Do they really work? Let's find out in today's video. I saw both of these advertising in my social media recently, so I figured they'd go well in one video together. Even though they're not directly competing, it will be interesting to see how they actually work. We have the lesser known Vabroom, which was a crowdfunded product that's become available to the public. And we have, of course, Shark, which is a major brand and their offering. Both these are supposedly good for hard floors. So uh, let's get started. First up, let me take a look at some of the unboxing and the overview of both products. Taking a closer look here, some of the features are a powerful motor embedded in the broom itself, pressure activated suction nozzle, one cup debris capacity, easy empty debris eject button, boom, interlocking three piece handle, cordless and lightweight, rechargeable lithium power pack. What's interesting is it has this warning on here that I, I can't even read because they have a tab over it. What does it say? Magnetic charging, swivel design, Suction and spray features designed for all hard floors. It comes with cleaning solution that goes in here. It also has LED headlights. The pads look interesting because it looks like they actually hold debris from the vacuum and also have the pad on the bottom. So this works basically as your dustpan and your mop pad at the same time. It is disposable. We'll see how long they last. Today I'm going to use them for the first time, get an initial impression. Then I'm going to turn the camera off and use them for a few days or a week until I have a really good idea of how well they work. And of course, I'll grab the camera if anything happens in that time. But then I'll check back at the end and let you know how they're holding up. So let's start with day one test right now. Let's get started with the Shark Vac Mop. First up, let's uh, fill it up with the included Shark Vac Mop Cleaner. This does not stand up on its own, by the, by the way. The perfect amount. So apparently when you're vacuuming, the debris goes in the slit right here and is contained in the plastic housing. And then of course you have the mop pad that goes against the floor. Very interesting. I think I saw refills of this, a 10 pack for about seven to eight bucks. I believe you're supposed to just put it on here until you hear a click. Ah, it clicked. Spray button's right there. The trigger to engage the vacuum is right there. I don't think there's really much else to really do except for get started. Ooh, we got lights. Now what I want to try to do is hit the spray button and see what happens. Oh yeah. Did you see it? Oh yeah. I like the spray. Very nice. Well, I mean, this feels so far just like kind of a regular Swiffer sweeper, but I do like the lights. That's kind of nice. I like the rotating aspect of it. It's very nice. I will try the vacuum portion soon, but right now I'm kind of interested in how it mops. I'm going to do my entire kitchen floor just on the mop. There's nothing really to vacuum in here yet, but let me just try the mop see how it works. All right, first use. It worked pretty well as just a regular Swiffer type mop. The only problem I had is that I keep hitting one of these two buttons, either the spray button or the vacuum button, but maybe I'll get used to them as well. First test, very quick, went well. How about a shot glass full of coffee? Oops. Oh no. Well, good thing I've got my hybrid vacuums to clean that up with. So what I'll do is I'll do half of this with the Vabroom and the other half with the uh, Vac Mop. I mean, this just feels right here, just as, like a regular broom. This doesn't feel anything unusual. There's, the selling point of this isn't really the broom as much as it is the, the vacuum attached to it. But you are supposed to vacuum your stuff up in a line like I have here. You're supposed to push down and it's supposed to turn on. Oh, it did. It worked. Oh, yeah. Now I got more. Like with a dustpan, you always have those little bits left over. All right, well, it did work. And the grounds are in there. So let's see how the, uh, the vac muck does. And by the way, you have to hold the trigger down when you're vacuuming. You can't just press a button and leave it on. You have to hold it. Oh, it's got good suction on it. 
Very good suction. That was impressive. How about the Vabroom in a real world test over by the entryway here? Got a very generic looking pile of debris. I actually put in a line like they said. Let's uh, try the vacuum part and see how it works. I mean, it works. It works. I shouldn't complain too much. It does work. See how it empties out in the trash. Pretty, I actually like the ejection. It ejected the debris, that's great. But the only problem is I, I, some of the debris ain't coming out. I have to pick that out myself. The ejection seat type of door, I actually kind of like though. All right, first impressions of both of these. I think the Vabroom, I understand what they're going for, but it seems like the vacuum, I still have to go over it several times. It doesn't seem like it's much less work than using a dustpan. As far as the vac mop goes, I actually like this one quite a bit. The vacuum's not for major jobs. It only holds a little bit of debris in there, but the spray liquid has a nice coverage. I think the mop itself is good. I got more tests to do. Let's see what else I can come up with to give these a good test. All right, so what I've got here, this has been on the floor for a few hours, kind of getting caked on there. I've got some barbecue sauce and some soy sauce, and I'm gonna see how the mop version cleans this up. First up, a dry pass on the soy sauce. Let's see. Oh yeah, not. Not so great, not that I would expect it to be. So it definitely is gonna need some cleaner. Let's try the cleaner now. Wrong button. Whoa, look at that cleaner. All right, I mean, it's a, it's a, tough, it's a tough stain. It's gonna take some scrubbing. It's harder than I thought it was gonna be. Soy sauce coming out. It is convenient to be able to just keep adding cleaner as necessary. All right, so the problem right now though is like you're not supposed to vacuum this up because it's wet. So I think I'll just let this dry and then try vacuuming it up. So we're gonna go over to another test before we get to this. One of these two had a demonstration using almonds. I'm gonna try both of them. Let's try the vac broom and the vac mop and see how they vacuum up some bigger items like this. First up, the broom. Oh, it's not doing it. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's in there. Oh, it's not doing it. Not doing it. Oh, there goes one. Oh, this is so much easier. <laughs> it worked. It didn't work great, but it worked. There they are. I I'm going to give that like about, about a C. Time for the vac mop. Let's see how it does. Oh, it's not fitting. Oh, one went in. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. It seems like in both cases the almonds barely fit, but, but they did fit. Let's get to this now and see if I can get this vacuumed up. I'm not sure if that vacuumed it up or if it just attached to the bottom of the mop, but either way, it picked it up. Can it pick up hair like, like a big clump of, of dog hair? Let's see. First up, vac mop. Oh! Oh, no problem. Can the vabroom do it? Oh, it did! Wow, no problem. No problem at all with the hair. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's definitely time to, uh, to get rid of this. So the way you're supposed to do it, is pinch this. Oh wow, they weren't kidding, were they? All right, so I've been using both of these products for about a week now. I intended to check in, but I really don't have much new to report uh, since my original test. I do have a couple things though. I will start off with the Vabroom. The one thing I noticed is that on their box, they say there's no bending. Right there, no bending. To me, not bending is difficult while using the Vabroom. Check this out. And don't mind Bailey here, she's just making sure that I'm, I'm doing this correctly. But when you're trying to do this without bending over, first of all, you have no leverage. You're gonna have to bend over. To get enough leverage and to see what you're vacuuming up. So I'm not sure if the no bending claim is really accurate. 
Now I'm probably just nitpicking there, but I don't know if the bending over is gonna be easy for some people. But with that said, let's get to the pros and cons of both of these products. Let's start with the Vibroom, the lesser known of these two. I would say that it really just operates like a regular broom. There's nothing spectacular about the broom itself. The vacuum portion actually works pretty well. There's nothing really bad to say about it. I think it'll probably vacuum up most debris you'll sweep up on your floor and the ejection door works pretty well too. So the Vibroom does a pretty good job. As far as the vac mop goes, uh, I would actually, one additional observation I have about that is that it does seem like the pads, even though they look about the same as a Swiffer, I got them to last longer and for this reason. When you, you, when you take a new Swiffer pad out on one of the wet ones, you usually start off and it's kind of sopping wet and by the time you're done with the room it's kind of dry so you don't really have an even coverage. With the vac mop you can actually strategically place the cleaner where you want it when you want it. You don't always need it. The chamber to hold the debris in the vacuum part is not large but it seems like it holds up as long as the pad does when mopping. The other thing is you can kind of pre-vacuum up a lot of the hair and dirt and debris on the floor that you would otherwise have to stop and sweep up with a broom so it actually saves time there as well. With the vac mop, there are recurring costs. There's the pads, which I think they're about twice as much as the regular Swiffer pads, but they also last twice as long, so maybe it's kind of a trade-off. And they have the cleaner that they want you to use theirs. I'm not sure if you can use any cleaner. They recommend using theirs, of course, so they can sell you theirs. Neither one of these products are for a heavy-duty job. They're kind of more for a light clean in between more thorough cleaning jobs. But I do think that if you like what you see in the advertising for these products, you'll probably like the Vac Mop and the Vibroom. I actually think that these are two products I'm gonna to continue to use after this review, so I'll let you know down the road how they're holding up. Overall though, I think both of these work pretty well. If you've used either one of these products, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.